Donald Trump likes to make believe that those people who are getting a little hand or, or, or those people that are going to public schools or those people that are getting ahead, that somehow they are getting a, a, a break, right? The thing about it is when he talks about things like affirmative action and he tries to make it look like this is something that people that are undeserving are receiving, when he talks about uh, policies that support the middle class, whether that be uh, things like child care, et cetera, he would have you believe that somehow these are people unworthy of these issues. Of course, you all, for all of you that watches our channel here, you know what we believe. Every single family should have access to these different programs because they've earned it for being Americans in a rich society where they produce and are ill-paid. But let's leave that aside for a while. At the, at the DNC, the Democratic National Con uh, Convention, the, the classy Michelle Obama did a complete takedown of Donald Trump without once naming him, but illustrating in no uncertain terms that nothing that he has was really earned. I want you to listen to this and then we'll take it on the other side. Kamala Harris is more than ready for this moment. She is one of the most qualified people ever to seek the office of the presidency. And she is one of the most dignified. A tribute to her mother, to my mother, and to your mother too. The embodiment of the stories we tell ourselves about this country. Her story is your story. It's my story. It's the story of the vast majority of Americans trying to build a better life. Look, Kamala knows, like we do, that regardless of where you come from, what you look like, who you love, how you worship, or what's in your bank account, we all deserve the opportunity to build a decent life. All of our contributions deserve to be accepted and valued. because no one has a monopoly on what it means to be an American. No one. <laughs> Kamala has shown her allegiance to this nation, not by spewing anger and bitterness, but by living a life of service and always pushing the doors of opportunity open to others she understands that most of us will never be afforded the grace of failing forward. We will never benefit from the affirmative action of generational wealth. or choke in a crisis, we don't get a second, third, or fourth chance. If things don't go our way, we don't have the luxury of whining or cheating others to get further ahead, no. We don't get to change the rules so we always win. If we see a mountain in front of us, we don't expect there to be an escalator waiting to take us to the top. Something. And throughout her entire life, that's what we've seen from Kamala Harris. The steel of her spine, the steadiness of her upbringing, the honesty of her example, and yes, the joy of her laughter and her light. It couldn't be more obvious the two major candidates in this race, only Kamala Harris truly understands the unseen labor and unwavering commitment 
that has always made America great. Notice how she puts it. He got the affirmative action of being able to fail forward. That is something that she's not the only one that has ever spoken about failing forward. Uh, you would have some of these comedians talk about they just wish they had the opportunity to fail. In other words, I wish I could fail and it not be fatal for my entire career. But so often for some of us, we either don't get the chance to fail or don't get the chance to fail once because the stereotypes go off and you never get that chance again. So failing forward, she points out that it's amazing that so often, so often because of your bank account, what it actually gets you. Michelle Obama in without being, being very classy just came out and, and pointed out the privilege that somebody like Donald Trump has. He could fail forward. He could go bankrupt. He could be a felon. He could be a criminal. He could be all these bad things. He could harm women. He could rape women. He could, uh, he could grab on women. He could steal from his charity. But because of the privilege he has, the ability to fail forward, the ability to not face the same justice system than the rest of us, that he can prevail and actually aspire to the highest office in the land. Do you know why people don't take us seriously when we talk about meritocracy? Do you understand why we can't take, be taken seriously? That someone, a grifter, could be a billionaire? That someone could create a company like Truth Social that has no value, but in an in a economic system that we have, somehow be able to accrue several billion dollars for one person? Economic fraud the system is, maybe? Michelle Obama did a great job without just going out and blasting Trump to show not only the inequities in our system implicitly, but she was able to do it in a manner that everybody understands, but they could still keep their joy and they could still keep their happiness on their face. Kamala Harris had to work for it. Donald Trump never did. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.